Mastering Facility Qualification Operational excellence hinges on the facility's KPIs and metrics. How do its key performance indicators, KPIs, and metrics enable the facility to measure and achieve operational excellence? In the context of facility qualification, operational excellence is a crucial aspect that ensures a facility's compliance with regulatory requirements, industry standards, and customer expectations. The facility's key performance indicators, KPIs, and metrics play a vital role in measuring and achieving operational excellence. To begin with, the facility's KPIs and metrics provide a clear direction and focus for the Operational Excellence Initiative. They enable the facility to set specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, goals that are aligned with the organization's overall objectives. These goals are then cascaded down to various levels of the organization, ensuring everyone is working towards a common objective. One of the primary metrics used to measure operational excellence is the Overall Equipment Effectiveness OEE. E provides insights into the facility's production efficiency, taking into account factors such as availability, performance, and quality. By tracking E, the facility can identify areas of improvement, optimize production processes, and increase productivity. Another important metric is the mean time between failures MTBF, and mean time to repair MTTR. These metrics help the facility to monitor equipment reliability, identify potential failures, and implement proactive maintenance strategies to minimize downtime. By reducing equipment failures and downtime, the facility can increase production capacity, reduce costs, and improve customer satisfaction. In addition to these metrics, the facility also tracks lead time, which is the time taken to complete a process or operation. By monitoring lead time, the facility can identify bottlenecks, optimize workflows, and reduce cycle time. This leads to increased productivity, improved quality, and enhanced customer satisfaction. Furthermore, the facility's KPIs and metrics also focus on quality performance. Metrics such as defect rate, yield, and first pass yield provide insights into the facility's ability to produce high quality products. By tracking these metrics, the facility can identify areas for improvement, implement corrective actions, and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. The facility's KPIs and metrics also include those that measure safety performance, such as the Total Recordable Injury Rate TRIR, and Lost Workday Rate LWR. These metrics enable the facility to monitor and improve its safety performance, reduce the risk of accidents, and ensure a safe working environment for employees. In addition to these metrics, the facility also tracks metrics related to training and competency, such as training effectiveness and competency ratio. These metrics help the facility to monitor employee skills and knowledge, identify training gaps, and provide targeted training programs to enhance employee competence. The facility's KPIs and metrics are reviewed and analyzed on a regular basis, using tools such as dashboards, reports, and analytics. This enables the facility to identify areas of improvement, track progress, and make data-driven decisions. The metrics are also used to recognize and reward outstanding performance, encouraging employees to strive for excellence. In conclusion, the facility's KPIs and metrics are essential components of its Operational Excellence Initiative. They provide a framework for measuring and achieving operational excellence, enable the facility to identify areas of improvement, and drive continuous improvement initiatives. By tracking and analyzing these metrics, the facility can ensure compliance with regulatory requirements, industry standards, and customer expectations, ultimately leading to improved customer satisfaction and business success.